Normally, when we look at very distant objects, what we're seeing is the light from an entire galaxy, so millions of stars all blended together. But um, in this case, thanks to a very massive cluster of galaxies in the foreground, uh, the light from this one star has just been very, very highly magnified. Uh, so we're able to see this single star um, at uh, a much greater distance. Uh, so it's when the, the universe was less than one billion years old. So we're looking nearly 13 billion years into the past when we look at this object. It is very likely no longer alive. Um, massive stars tend to live fast and die young, um, and this one being 50 to 100 times the mass of the sun uh, is absolutely living up to that, so um, it would have a lifetime of a few hundred million years, uh, so it is most certainly no longer around today. Um, so it's, uh, it's one of the few cases where the star that we're seeing is long dead by the time we're able to see it. So the star is nicknamed Erendel, uh, which is an old English word that means the morning star. Um, it's also, uh, for the Lord of the Rings nerds um, out there, it's uh, the same old English word that Tolkien used for uh, inspiration for a character from the Silmarillion, um, who also ends up becoming a star, so it's a, a nice parallel there. Uh, 